Hi and welcome to the Beauty Case Online. This week we're going to be looking at Summer's hottest trend which is blue eyeliner. We're going to be looking at different textures, colours and ways to apply it and especially important for those of you who are more used to wearing black eyeliner like me and how you can give it a new summer twist. So if you want to learn more about this summer's hottest trend, keep watching. So in the launch issue of the beauty case we looked at blue eyeliner in one of our trend features uh, and I had a little piece in there called the editor's notes where I shared my experience of wearing blue eyeliner. Now I've worn black eyeliner since I was about 15 and I first discovered wearing makeup and so switching to blue was quite a big change. I started by using a blue eyeliner pencil. Now this is the Contour Clubbing Waterproof by Bourjois. It looks like this can't really see that. It's in the colour Blue Neon. Uh, now it is a, a little bit blunt but the issue I found with the pencil is that although it glides quite well on the waterline and underneath the eye, on the top of the eye it is quite smudgy. It says waterproof but eyelids develop oil as the rest of your skin does and if you've got an oily skin then I would definitely stay away from pencils. However if you want to wear the blue eyeliner underneath the eye or inside the eye, sort of like at Stella McCartney, then this is probably a really good choice for you. You can also get really great great coloured eyeliner pencils from places like MAC, Inglot and NARS. NARS do some really good ones. My preferred technique however is to use an eyeshadow as an eyeliner. What I've been using is uh, this sleek palette which is the Ultra Matte Eye Divine which is a uh, the Brights one, number 730 if you're going to go out and buy them. Now sleek does really great quality eyeshadows but as a really affordable price. So when I can open this as you can probably tell, I've been using this colour. Now, this is the Brights palette, so it is quite an intense colour. However, this comes up beautifully matte, as it is a matte texture, and it doesn't look too bright. It doesn't look like my nails, which are very, very bright blue, but it also doesn't look very dull. What I've been using is the MAC 209 brush, you can see here it's quite it's a pencil brush so it's quite thin and a little bit of water now I've got water in this egg cup what I've been doing is taking the pen uh, the brush sorry dipping it in the water and then directly applying the water to the color now as you can see that then picks up the pigment then all you need to do is as you would with a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner draw your line on now I've already got eyeliner on today so I'm not going to draw it on but I can show you on my hand it goes on just like that. Now at the end you can see it does look a little bit watery you just go over it with the powder and there you go a nice strong line. Another brush you can use if you're not a fan of uh, tiny little pencil brushes and if you want a really straight line I prefer more of a rounded line and then you can use something like this which is the 266 from MAC it's an angled brush and that way you can dot along the, the line with the eyeshadow. The only issue with this is because the bristles go up, they're cut quite bluntly and sometimes the product can sit between the bristles and then sort of smudge as you're going across. So my personal recommendation is to use a small pencil brush like this, an eyeshadow, another one if you really do like MAC is MAC Fresh Water. It's a lot darker so if you're used to wearing black that's probably a good way to go but it still does look quite nice. It's not completely matte, it is a for Lux Pearl finish, so it will have a bit of shimmer. So if you prefer shimmer as well, go for the MAC one. Thanks for watching this week's feature on Blue Eyeliner. We hope you enjoyed it. For more films, don't forget to subscribe, which is just the box up here. And you can also read more from the Beauty Case online at thebeautycasemagazine.wordpress.com. All the links will be in the information box below. And thank you again for watching.